University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee is located on the Upper East Side of Milwaukee. It has a student population of a little bit under 30,000 people. It's roughly a mile from Lake Michigan, beautiful historic area of the city of Milwaukee. It is a nationally accredited university, a doctoral granting research-based university. It is one of 26 universities in the UW system, of which it and Madison are the only two doctoral granting institutions in the state. Helen Bader School of Social Welfare is composed of two departments, criminal justice and social work. We believe that the School of Social Welfare allows us the context in which criminal justice people, those seeking careers in criminal justice, and social workers can come together to ultimately improve our communities, strengthen those communities through research, teaching, and service. The new crime analysis specialization in the Helen Bader School of Social Welfare is a joint offering between us and the School of Information Studies. It is composed of six specific courses that allow people to get trained in specific crime analysis techniques. Crime analysis is the application of scientific techniques and technologies that enable police departments in particular to focus on patterns, irregularities in crime in their communities. The Milwaukee Police Department's data-driven strategy is both internal and external. It's our relationship with the community. It's a problem-oriented, intelligence-led, and geographically accountable process that we put ourselves through every day. That is the internal side. Our relationship with the community, our crime and safety meetings that are standing room only every month, that is the external piece where we partner with the community to identify hot spots in their neighborhoods uh, so that we are, we are prioritizing where we put limited resources. The Washington Park Project is a collaboration between UWM's Helen Bader School of Social Welfare and the Milwaukee Police Department, specifically District 3 of the Milwaukee Police Department. It's designed to improve the interactions of police officers in that park and in that community, hence enabling that community to have a safer area from which families, children, adults can ultimately live and work and go forward. I've been working on a federally funded project with the Milwaukee Police Department. I'm the research partner on the Byrne Criminal Justice Innovation Grant awarded the department on a three-year crime reduction initiative in the Washington Park neighborhood. In this role, I'm evaluating the effort and assisted with the development of the strategic plan. I've worked with crime analysts to identify the hotspots, have conducted focus groups with community residents to better understand their concerns, relayed that information to the implementation team so they can construct appropriate strategies, and then constructed and administered a community survey in order to measure residents' perceptions of crime, disorder, fear of crime, and attitudes toward police over time. The Fusion Center in the Milwaukee Police Department is a long-term proposition by Chief Flynn in which the allocation of specific police officers in a specific unit are designed to map and to analyze crime patterns and to provide that data to police officers, particularly police officers on the beat. Fusion on the front line is a piece that we're implementing in District 3 to take those intelligence-led strategies and, and put them to work on the streets. Terrorism and crime look the same before they happen. Uh, that partnership of the community working with the police to solve those problems, recognize those, is those issues, uh, has made it a safer place. Gun crime research here at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee is actually conducted on two fronts. One is examining the number of illegal guns that are used in criminal activities, and another is examining the actual enforcement of gun statutes or gun ordinances in the community. I am uh, conducting research, kind of ongoing research, uh, looking at the illegal gun market, specifically in Milwaukee. Uh, how, how offenders get guns, uh, the issue of straw purchases at uh, firearm dealers and such. Uh, another area of research interest of mine is looking at uh, another strategy to get guns out of the hands of would-be offenders and that is through the uh, implementation of state law that requires folks who have a restraining order against them uh, having to uh, surrender their uh, firearms to a uh, law enforcement official. GIS is the application of geographical information systems technology to understanding crime patterns and irregularities. It's value and its strength is to give police departments the knowledge about crime dispersion within a community. In the GIS, 
we can not only react to the current issues, but also prevent potential harms identified by the patterns obtained from the data analysis. The future of criminal justice and crime analysis in particular, and the future of criminal justice education, lies in its intelligence-led capabilities. The analytics that we are creating and offering for people will be cutting edge and is the future. And if you're interested in that kind of future, then you need to come to the Helen Bader School of Social Welfare at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee.